There's a camellia to die for, folks, in Wendy's camellia cl uh, collection here on uh, Salt Spring Island. Wendy loves camellias, so she's got a lot of them in the garden. So look at the yellow stamens on these guys. Are they beautiful. This one's growing in part shade, and uh, she's been growing this one a long time. Lots of flower buds still to open. I don't know the name of it. It's a camellia japonica, but I don't know the variety name, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. Look at those stamens. That beautiful and this one's growing underneath a one of her Japanese maples yeah she loves Japanese maples I like the camellias better than Japanese maples but I mean they're all nice and uh, also beside a big variegated fatsia she's planted lots of fatsia variegated ones around the gardens look at the growth coming out on that isn't that beautiful so anyway try one of these in your own garden there's some very hardy uh, species of camellias and uh, just look for the name varieties you could probably google this and find it I'm sure and uh, if you're in a really cold location, you probably want to plant them in a sheltered location, sheltered area of your garden. And uh, put them in good soil, acidic soil, just like a rhododendron. They'll get big. They turn into small trees here on, uh, on the Pacific coast of Canada. Some huge old ones in Vancouver and Victoria and on Vancouver Island and here on Salt Spring as well. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Enjoy the uh, day and happy gardening from Salt Spring Island in the Southern Gulf Islands. Cheers.